The topic of today's tech tip is how to create a barrel cam in SOLIDWORKS. For that, we will use the wrap feature with the deboss option. And I can tell you right now, everything lies inside the sketch. Uh, the inspiration for this tech tip came from Dan Sev on SOLIDWORKS forum. He already had the profile of the cam, but he wasn't able to create it himself. And I believe that happened because the sketch had some flaws. First of all, uh, the overall length of the cam wasn't equal to the circumference of the cylinder and also the transition there has too many points on, on the spline. So it wasn't a very nice uh, transition. Um, first of all, I asked him what's the diameter of the cylinder, 55 millimeter. And you see the, the way I created the plane for the sketch for the wrap, uh, parallel to the front plane tangent to the face. The sketch itself, the first thing I did, I made sure that the length of my sketch is equal to the circumference of this cylinder, 55 times pi. And other than that, I just used tangent arcs and, uh, and lines. The, if you don't like what you get, the fact that you have multiple faces on the transition, maybe you would like to have one continuous face. There is an easy fix for that too. So uh, I did the sketch one more time. and. Uh, just throw a bunch of fit splines over those segments. So uh, I just did there. Here I'm just going to use the repeat command. So just go to the recent commands and just run the same command. Now for the next one, I, you, I'm just going to press enter because SOLIDWORKS remembers the last command you used. So again, select, pre-select, press enter, and you can see the fit spline is being applied automatically. The end result is pretty clean, as you're gonna see those faces become one. So one transition face on top and on the bottom. Um, nice, clean, uh, clean result. And uh, that's it for today. Thank you so much.